the job call. You know, I was I was homeless. So um, $300 went a long way then. So um, back then you could get a room dirt cheap. So I ended up, you know, getting a room and, and doing day work. Back then, you know, there was day work where you could load tractor trailers on the docks, you know, and you could get day pay or you could wait to the end of the week and then get a check for the week. But in my situation, the way I was, I used to take my money every day. And then after a while, money started getting low. The room started costing more. So I got to the point where, you know, I couldn't stay inside. So then I really became homeless. Then. And um, back then in New York, the trains were warm. The parks were warm in the summertime. So you could sleep in the park, you could ride the trains back and forth from one end of New York to the other. You could sleep in the Port Authority in New York. Those of you who know about 42nd Street, 8th Avenue, the Port Authority bus terminal, that's where all the homeless people stayed at when they didn't have a place to stay. And they had lockers there, and the lockers at that time were a quarter. So that was cheap. So at least I had a place to keep my clothes and my suitcase. So from that point on, I was on my own, really on my own. But I managed to keep working and I managed to keep clean because I had my clothes in my locker and I always had wash up stuff. So I always managed to stay clean. Whereas when I went on these job interviews for these, because even even going for a job interview for loading tractor trailers on the dock, that's not an office job. But you couldn't go in there looking homeless, but they wouldn't hire you. So I managed to stay clean, keep my clothes clean. And so that's why I had to take my money every day. I couldn't wait till the end of the week. So, and, we, and the money was pretty good for loading the trucks every day. And if you waited till the end of the week, you really got a nice check. But I took mine every day, and I managed to survive. And um, you know, I rode the trains when it was warm, and when it was cold, I stayed in the Port Authority. And when it was warm, I slept in Central Park. But back then, now, if a homeless man get caught sleeping in Central Park, he might get set on fire. But but back then, nobody bothered you. And I had my own little cardboard surrounding, and I had blankets, you know, that I bought dirt cheap from Salvation Army, and um, I survived. You know, I didn't have to steal, I didn't have to rob nobody, because I worked, and I worked every day. And I went to work every day on the docks, loading tractor trailers, and when the, when, at the end of the day, when the work was finished, I went to the office, got my check, went, paid my quarter for the lockup because it only lasts 24 hours. And every 24 hours, you had to put another quarter in. So I put another quarter in, got my clothes out, made sure they were clean, put pants in the cleaners. Back then, you'd get a pair of pants clean for like $1.50. So $1.50, $2 for a pair of pants. So I always kept my pants and shirts clean and stuff. So in case I had to go on different job interviews to try to get another job. And then from loading trucks, I ended up getting a job as a file clerk, working in an office in a warehouse, not in an office building, in a warehouse, in a dusty warehouse in the back, filing invoices of the trucks that was being loaded. Because every truck had to be loaded, had invoices of what was in the truck. So I ended up because the guys kind of liked me because, you know, I was kind of cool. The boss kind of liked me because I did my job. I worked hard. And um, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't illiterate. And I wasn't a knucklehead. And, you know, people, people know people. People see you, and they see the way you work. And they see you, you, you're you not drunk all the time. And you're not using drugs. And you come to work on time. You're always there. And you, you're always helping other people do certain things. If you see a pallet getting ready to fall, you're running to grab it to help somebody to keep from getting injured. Bosses and people, they watch that stuff. And so people were watching me when I didn't know they were watching me. So, you know, when I when the position became available, I realized there was a 
a file clerk position available, I says, you know, I asked for the position. I asked, I says, well, anybody, um, how do you apply for that position? And they said, well, you got to go put in applications. I put in application, I got the job. So, like I said, the Lord had a plan for me. And I know the Lord was looking out for me. He provided that position for me. And um, I got a job as a file clerk.